Friday, April 30th, 2021. Brother and Sister Hell. I remember back in the 1990s, the first guy that walked into our services at the prison was Charles Beard. He had been in for over 30 years at that time. Charles liked to talk about how nice prison would be if there just weren't any other inmates there. I've lost count of how many times I've heard this sentiment from the man. When we read accounts about good people in the scriptures, the men have always been quick to point out that nice people like that are just fairy tales and don't exist anymore. I like to tell the guys that the key is to surround yourself with nice people, then illustrate it with a story. The guys always like stories. One of my favorites is when I was a junior at Mountain View High School. A couple of friends, Dennis Slade and Richard Hell Jr., were on the wrestling team with me. Each school evening at 5.30 p.m. after practice, the three of us would ride home on my old beach cruiser bicycle. I would have my right foot on the ground and left foot on the inside of the left pedal. Richard would sit on the seat with his right foot on the ground and left foot on the outside of the left pedal. Dennis would sit on the handlebars with his feet on the front axle. When we were ready to go, Richard and I would push down together on the left pedal, bring our other feet up to the right pedal, and off we would go. Dennis had the most excellent balance. Richard's home was the first stop, then Dennis's home, and then mine. I stopped at Brother and Sister Hell's home this evening after work. I don't know how long it's been since I visited. When I knocked on the door, I wondered if they would remember who I was. When the door opened, I started to introduce myself, but before I could finish, Sister Hell said Robert and gave me the tightest bear hug. I don't think I've talked to Brother Hell for 30 or 40 years. But when he invited me to come in from the family room, I recognized his voice immediately. After we talked for a minute, I asked if I could record our conversation. Brother Hell just smiled and said that would be fine. Some excerpts from our conversation. Yeah, you got to remember that as you get older, you lose your memory. Well, you used to play your ukulele for us and sing Ooh. and stuff Yeah, like I played ukulele. I corded on the piano. Do you still have a ukulele? Yeah. Well, I want a concert now. <laughs> Do you got the ukulele, Sister Hell? Um, why don't you chord for him instead? On the it, piano? Yeah, let's go chord on the piano. Five foot two, eyes are blue. You know what those five foot can do? Has anybody seen my gal? Turned up nose, turned down hose. Flap yes sir, one of those. Has anybody seen my gal? My baby, please don't talk about me when I don't talk about See, you remember that just fine. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, Brother Hell said he has eight children, 40 grandchildren, 50 great grandchildren, and with spouses, it's well over 100. I ask if he's able to remember everybody. He said he keeps a spreadsheet with everyone's name and birth date. I told the Hells my wife would be wondering where I was. Sure enough, Antonia called a few moments later. Sister Hell sent me home with a bag of chocolate chip cookies.